Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel and checking out this episode today. Okay, what have we got? Well, we've got a brand new kit from Tamiya. We've got the GFO2 squash van, so we'll be having a look at that. Also, as well as you can see, I've got the FTX Gladius, and um, I've had that out for its first run today. We did a, a video of this. Now, this was going to be my video for today, but um, the squash van showed up. So we're looking at this first, and then hopefully I can get on with building that. So this will be up pretty soon. Anyway, I uh, really enjoyed uh, driving the Gladius. It, were, it was it was good fun. Anyway, you'll see that in one of the next uh, few videos. So I'm just going to move that off the table for now. That's a weighty thing. Um, now I've got mud all over my table. How good is that? <laughs> Yeah, we was up at, uh, well, near us at Beacon Fell today, and we were uh, taking that out. Right, anyway, um, let me warm in here. Okay, so as you say, tire squash van. I love the body on, on this, absolutely lovely. On the GFO2 chassis, and it is, if we run it, kit number 58725. So, yeah. Right, uh, there has been some videos of this popping up already. But as it's a new chassis, I thought I'd, I'd go over it. Um, these were hitting the stores uh, last uh, last week in the UK, late last week. And uh, mine came in and I picked it up today from Inside Line Models. Um, so before we go any further with it, I'd just like to say massive thanks to Inside Line Models again for sponsoring the video. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And uh, very nice of them that they've also given us a 5% discount code for you to use for our use, uh, viewers, our viewers to use on their, in their store online. So if you uh, buy anything from Inside Line Models, it's uh, www.insidelinemodels.com and the discount code you need is AndyRC5. That's AndyRC5. All of the details will be in the description for this video. But again, massive thanks. Uh, to inside line models, uh, they are uh, really nice people to deal with, uh, and uh, have been a great help. So okay, so um, let's get the lid off on this. As you say, that's the box art. Now, actually, I love the colour on the box art. It's uh, the cobalt green, and I actually use that on quite a lot of uh, the body shells I've done, especially ones with the cars that I've raced. Um, I use that as a colour. Um, so. With that in mind, I won't be using that uh, on this um, on this build. So before we go any further with getting stuff out of the box, I've got these two paint cans here. If you can see them, uh, we've got PS18, which is metallic purple, which is what I'm going to do the body in. And, uh, and I'm going to tint the windows. I'm a big fan of tinting windows at the moment. And I've got this PS44 translucent green. Uh, for the window, so we're going to a slightly different theme for the body. Um, yeah, I quite fancy it. I love the style. I get, the body was one of the things that sold it uh, for me. This kit, it's loosely based on uh, an American Ford uh, panel van, and it looks fantastic. Now, regarding the the length of the uh, the, the chassis length of this vehicle, it's the same length as the CCO2 long wheelbase chassis so the length of this chassis for the gfo2 is the same as the long wheelbase for the cco2 also as you can see it's got pre-cut uh, drilled holes on this this body is also the same um will fit on the cco2 uh long wheelbase that matches the same body posters on that chassis and probably vice versa so if you want to think about changing bodies uh, but yeah uh, absolutely love that. Look at it. How nice is that? I can't wait to do that. Yeah, right up my street, that. So the body is fantastic. Um, what else have we got? Bearings. Takes a bazillion bearings. I've got them all there ready to go. So, yeah, thought, thought there's that many in it. I don't want to have to pull the car to pieces to put bearings in. <laughs> so, we'll do it from the off. Uh, what else have we got here? In here, you've got your tyres, which are the same as an original release. Well, and the re-release, I suppose, now. 
I think we've got the uh, Tamiya Blackfoot. So we've got those tyres on. They're like a Chevron, sort of almost Chevron style. So we've got them, which I'm quite liking. So they're going to be on it. Now, I must admit, I do want to change the wheels out on this at some point, and uh, especially with the colours I'm doing it. But we'll have to start off white, and then I'll see what tyres I can, wheels and alternative wheels and tyres I can find. Um, you get, again, your uh, 1060 Hobby Wing Base ESC. There's the wheels, which we, we've seen on other things uh, in the past. But uh, they're, they're all right, but uh, I must admit, I either want a different wheel or at least a different colour on them. Um, so we'll see what we can do there at some point. And then, um, where else we got? Well, we've got components here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The box is huge. So let's uh, dig all this lot out. decals now I did flick through the manual earlier I'm gonna say it doesn't look a too bad a kit to build so I'm not I don't want to curse it <laughs> but um, yeah it doesn't look a too bad a kit to build this one uh, but we will see anyway um, so let's have a look so there's your manual for the uh, GFO2 chassis so I think by sort of page, let's have a look. Do, do, do. So about, about, uh, about step 26, 27, uh, like that, sort of roughly those steps, you've got the chassis built up and the electrics going in. So yeah. Not too many uh, steps. That obviously you've got all the bodywork, wheels and tyres to finish off, which will uh, take a bit, you know, a bit longer. But yeah, not too bad. Decals. Did, hmm, I was just saying they don't look too bad. Um, up close now that I've seen them myself. Um, there's lots of light, straight lines and things, but hopefully, touch wood, won't be too bad. I can tell you, I won't be putting on the squash van um, decals and the pumpkin decals on mine. But there you go. Right, so what else do we have here then? Well, some of that looks like um, TLO1 parts there. Obviously, it must use some, uh, you know, some parts off, off that chassis. I don't know, because they look like they're off a of TLO1. Uh, and the knuckles, except. So we'll see. Maybe Taddy are recycling parts again, which is, they are uh, sort of famous for doing that. So, so you've got hubs and steering knuckles on there and... And uh, yeah, the sea hubs there. And what else? Now here we've got uh, front and front and rear bumpers, um, body posts, and uh, yeah, and some of the uh, friction shocks parts as well. Unfortunately, it is friction shocks in this kit. Um, there's another um, bag of parts that match the other parts I've just showed you now. I don't know if you can do it straight away, if it tells you to build it like that in the kit, or it's something you can do afterward, afterwards, uh, an optional extra, but you can convert it to four-wheel uh, four wheel steering. So uh, that might be something we consider. So I'm just going to have a quick look now in the manual to see, is that something you can do straight away as you build it from the instructions, or is that something you do at a later date? Ah, there you go. So the initial build is in uh, it's written two wheel um, normal two wheel steering, and then in the back page on number twenty, well on page twenty twenty two, it says four WS, and it's going to give you the instructions of how to convert it to four wheel steering. So I'm going to say most likely I'll, I'll probably look at doing that at some point. So that's probably why you've got two lots of those parts. So uh, next one. That's, that's cool, so we'll look at doing that at some point. Not many steps, there's only seven steps to doing that as well. Obviously, you'll need another servo for it. Uh, but yeah, very good. Okay. What else have we got here? Now there you've got your, basically your your chassis, chassis rails or chassis, chassis halves. Now all the gears go in this as well. And it's a bit more of a scale looking chassis because you've got the... Uh, 
the bottom rails, um, chassis rails like you might see on a, a monster truck or something like that. So, um, I'm looking at it the right way actually, yeah. <laughs> probably got it the wrong way then. Um, that's probably the top actually. But yeah, anyway, what I meant generally mean is it's a bit more of a scale looking uh, sort of chassis. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what it's like when it's built. Actually that, that top there, my mistake there, uh, that's going to be where the battery goes up here. It's going to sit up here. But yeah, so your chassis halves are there. It's a bit difficult seeing things just in bags. And then here you've got wishbones, and that's, uh, you know, the two-piece wishbones for your front and rear. So loads of wishbones in there. And then in the bag, what have we got in here then? Let's have a look. This will be your metal parts bag and hardware. Get it down there. So you've got sea bag, which has got your uh, springs. And probably the uh, friction shock shafts in there, rubber tubing, the more of the suspension parts. 540 cam motor, which we will probably change from the off. You know, brass and plastic bushes, won't be needing them. Uh, a parts bag, so we've got uh, pinion gears. Now you, there's an op, not, you only get, uh, I think, an 18 tooth in the kit, but I'm sure there's the, you, there's all the two other gear. Um, gear ratios available but the pinions are sold separately you can get a 17 tooth and a 20 tooth as uh, the other two optional gear ratios for the kit well that's the uh, parts a eh? it's got the gear shafts in there uh, the grease as well the, probably the gear discs and whatnot what's in there um, track rod ends and dog bones and uh, ball joints and king pins in that little bag there and then in here we've got more dog bones this is b parts more dog bones the uh, u-bolt that keeps the wishbones in um gearbox joints and various uh, screws and bits and pieces to put it all together and then i'm guessing in here then i can't remember what's in here it's probably or oh, it's all the uh it'll be all the gears the plastic gears for the drive line let's have a look shall we see if we can get it off See, as me being well prepared as I usually am, did I uh, did I bother to uh, bring a knife? No, I didn't. There we go. So here, that's the battery um, tray retainer at the top. And it looks like you've got servo horn parts and the bell crank steering um, arms there. And you've got big wide hexes as well. And then, as I said, the rest of the things that are in here, you know, you've got your gearbox internals so there you go so that's basically for what you're getting in your kit put that over there and what i'll do is i'll just lay, lay this out a little bit better and i'll bring the camera over for you so you can see but um yeah i am quite looking forward to building i say quiet that's not the word is it uh i'm really looking forward to building this uh this up and it's going to be good fun and uh, say as i said the body sold it to me straight away and um, the fact that it's on a, a big wheel car, well, I like that. So this kit is verily, uh, verily, is primarily aimed as a fun chassis. That's uh, what it's aimed as. All good bit of fun. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And we'll, uh, we'll see what it is like. So, yeah. Right, okay. So that's it all out. I'm now going to go and bring the camera over and we'll have a, a little bit of a uh, closer look. Okay, without hopefully either falling over the gladius that I've just dumped down there or the boxes that I've just dumped down there. So, right. hopefully, I won't knock anything over in the process. So, <laughs> apologies if I do. Anyway, there you go. That is that rather gorgeous um, sort of panel van body, which, as I said, it's loosely based on a Ford. So, uh, very nice. You can see at the back there, there's the colours I'm going for. Uh, metallic purple body with the, the uh, translucent green windows bearings just uh, hanging around at the back and then you've got the black foot style tires your wheels and your esc and then that's your c parts bag with the uh, more track rod ends and springs and um the sort of the uh, piston not the pistons the uh, shock shafts are in there 540 cam motor, which you probably will not be using. Um, your gears, 
B parts bag there with a lot of the fittings in and uh, like the uh, uh, the gearbox joints and the out drives and dog bones and things and the U U um U what do you call it U -sh U shaped shaft for the wishbones and then that bag there has got more drive shafts in and rod ends and uh, plastic and brass bushings which we're not using bag A with the grease and uh, you call it the gearbox um, shafts in are in there and um, bevel gears for the diffs. You've got your wishbones, which are in two halves, they need to fit in together. It's a helicopter outside, I can hear. <laughs> uh, battery retainer. And then you've got your bumpers, basically, and your body posts there. Chassis rails. And then there are those parts that have been a lot like been taken off the uh, TLO1 chassis. Where you've got your, uh, your steering knuckles and your, uh, your hub carriers and part of the, uh, you know, servo saver and bits like that in there and then again that is the the uh, squash van manual i really wish they had come up with a better name though <laughs> and uh for such a cool truck it needed a cooler name and then you've got your decals there so yeah pretty cool that i'm looking forward to this one so hopefully by the end of this week i should have it all up and running i hope we will see so that's what you get in the box okay right okay uh again i'm gonna probably go now and uh, get stuck in with uh, looking at building this thing so uh massive thanks again to inside line models for sponsoring this one for us big big uh thanks always appreciated do go check them out at www.insidelinemodels.com and again you can get five percent off um online on their uh, online store by using the discount code and the rc5 okay if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel that would be much appreciated you can find us at andy robinson rc on youtube and also as i said uh, come find us on facebook and instagram under andy robinson rc right i'll see you soon on the next video we'll look after yourselves and take care, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.